Are you getting ready for Christmas? Want to add some flair from a galaxy far, far away? Join me today as we print a imperial star for the top of your Christmas tree. See you inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today, as I said, we're doing some themes from a galaxy far, far away by adding an imperial made star to the top of our Christmas tree. Now, what is that? Well, this is a star that has the Death Star in the center and has Imperial Star Destroyer classes around the edge to make it look like a star. So this is a really cool model, but made by eight um, that I downloaded. And I have been very impressed with the model. I made it in two pieces. We're gonna hop over to Kira and get set up to do that. Then we're gonna do the print, which I failed the first time but it wasn't a fail of the print. It was a mechanical failure on the end of my printer. I actually suffered a hot end failure and my hot end actually broke and started to leak on this one. So we're gonna hop over to the computer here in a few moments and we're gonna get that started. But let's talk about some important business. Now, we're getting ready to do 3D printing and walking through and how to do this stuff. So please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, join the crew as we continue moving through different prints, teaching you guys how to do different methods and get your 3D printing as smooth as possible so you don't have to endure the mistakes I had to over the two years that I got started in doing this. So I wanna make this as simple and as fun for you guys as I can. We will be adding more stuff to the channel in the next months to come with resin printing. Um, if you saw, if you watched the video of my tour of my printing rigs, you saw we have added those. If you hadn't, click the link down below and go watch that video. I think you'll like what I've built in my uh, workroom here. So let's hop over to the computer and let's get started getting this print sliced to get it printed. All right, guys, we're here at the computer. As you can see, we've got the Thingiverse page up on the, on the screen. Now, this model, uh, it's just really cool. I love how he took, eight took and made this into something very stylish, used multiple types of Imperial Star Destroyers, and just made a very beautiful ornament out of what he did here. So just some of the pictures, I mean, he's got one where the Death Star is pointed down and one where it's pointed up. We are printing the up, and even the back detail, the fact that he did both sides, just a wonderful model. So there is the full model in its render if it's put together. We are gonna print like this. We're gonna print it in two pieces. Um, as I said, I'm printing with the star up. So let's hop over to Kira, where I have it, and I'll get it pulled into the screen here. Here's where I have it laid down. I am using a CR-10, but you can get away with a Ender-3. It's gonna use most of your build plate on Ender-3, so be prepared for that. I am using Inland PLA Plus Gray to print this one. Um, it, just gray, just gonna make it easier to paint, prime, do all that fun stuff, if I even choose to do so. Cause I'm honestly making this for a gift. So as you can see over on the site, my walls, my density infill, doesn't need to be very high. We actually want this to be really light. It's going on top of a Christmas tree. We don't want it to pull the Christmas tree down on your head. So we gotta do it pretty light here. Um, honestly, the way this one's done, there's very little need for support. I'm printing at 215C with my CR10 V2. That's gonna be handling this job. Print speeds are all pretty much standard. Uh, retraction, speed, different things like that. Um, I need to enable Z-Hop when retracted. Um, and I'm usually, I actually, actually like that 0.5. So we'll make sure, cause we're hot, we're gonna be moving around here a lot. I am going to print this on a raft and I am gonna generate support at 85%. Just because I've got this little dome in here, I wanna make sure I'm not having a problem and I don't want this collapsing um, when we print. As I said, no need for a lot of infill. So raft, I'm gonna do. We don't need to do the extra margin at 25 is what we can get away with. We just want good adhesion to the bill plate. And honestly, where it's connecting to the raft is gonna be glued into the center and you're not even gonna see it. Um, I was able to print, I did print this over two days. As I said, this is the front piece that you will see. Um, and also we want support to build in here to support the Imperial Star Destroyer bridges. So let's hop our preview of this part. And as you can see, not too bad. Not a lot of support going in here. Not a lot of PLA being used either, which is great. We got a little bit of infill going on in there just to make sure we've got a stable surface for our upper layers to build, which is what we want. So there's the first half. Let me pull in the second half here. I am impressed by the level of detail in this small of a thing as well. So there's the back part. Same settings I'm gonna go with. 
that don't need a whole lot of infill, temperatures, build plate. Now, the winter season's here and temperature is kind of fluctuating a bit more in my house. I'm still running at 50, I'm still getting good plate adhesion, but as we get deeper into winter here, I may bump that up to 60 just to keep the plate a little bit hotter and keep better adhesion. Uh, travel, always Z, put that at five. Um, cooling is fine. And we'll bump that up to 85% again for this side as well. And we're going to get this guy sliced. And we're doing a raft. Oop, I left that up at 20. That's a waste of material. So we'll have to fix that once it slices. It should slice pretty quick. And we're going to bump that back down to 5. We don't need that much, much extra margin. I am printing on a uh, Creality glass. So um, I've just found with the rafts I get a better adhesion. And as you guys can see... There we go. Now, I, as I said in the intro, I actually suffered a failure with this one, but by no means caused by this print. My failure was caused by a mechanical issue. As you can see, it's actually putting some support inside the dome this time. So, and that's fine. So, I suffered a mechanical issue because I wound up getting a clog in, one, in a print before when I changed out the material, and I torqued a little too tight when I was taking the nozzle out to replace it, and... I cracked the hot end, unfortunately, but I've already replaced it. We're in good shape there, so you guys will see the fail, and you will also see the um, success. Then you'll see the glued together part, and we'll put it on the Christmas tree, and everything will be happy. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go to the time lapse. So guys, there's the print. Pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty dang detailed and pretty nice looking to me. I use the uh, files for the Death Star to be point pointed up, not down. So if you guys liked what you saw today, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and may you have a very imperial Christmas. See you guys in the next video.